Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Kunai. Last time we left off, we crash landed in the desert. And, um... Now I guess we're going to continue traversing the, the desert to this very, very awesome music that I uh, didn't give time to properly appreciate last time, so let's be quiet for a second. Yeah, that's some good music. I like it. it it's like a... It's like a cowboy theme while also being, like, hype and stuff. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. I feel like a cowboy samurai. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, so that door back there was blocked. This must be the temple where we get this electric power that was teased last time, or the shocking power. So, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, we... We haven't gotten a new hat yet, have we? I'm kind of tired of my pig hat. In fact, let's let's just take let's just get our regular head back. I'm tired of the pig hat. Pig hat looks stupid. I'll say it. I'm not afraid. Oh, invisible floor. Was not ready for that. I came so close. I can see the shuriken down the hall. You can still grab it. Be aware that taking stuff from this place can have serious consequences. Be careful, Tabby. Thank you for making sure the Wi-Fi connection's good here. Kunai, so I got that. Maybe I should wait to get a shuriken upgrade. Let's see, charge attack. Hold the attack button to charge your katana. Continue to attack the button repeatedly as long as enemies are in range to unleash the volley. That doesn't seem too terribly useful. I'm probably wrong and stupid, but I don't know how I feel about that one. I think I'm gonna save my money until I get these shurikens because maybe they have an upgrade that I really, really want. <clears throat> well, I didn't think they would be that close, I'll be honest. The electrifying shuriken sparks your interest, makes you feel uneasy. You pick up the shuriken anyway. Yeah, me too. Sure, a kid. Throw. Okay. So we have... Wow, we have quite a few abilities now. Alright, so what can I get? Lightning Strike. Shurikens are great at stunning enemies, but sometimes you need a little more oomph. Unleash the power of the lightning with this upgrade. Your shurikens will cause a lightning strike that can jump towards multiple enemies. Improve your footwork and keep your balance while throwing shurikens. I mean, this one, that, that one sounds like a quality of life thing, but this just sounds like... I now have, like, crowd control on my shurikens. Is that how long they take to respawn? Okay, so that's not, that's not that long. I can deal with that. Uh, okay, I was wondering if that was a button. Okay, and we can throw them up, too. So it's not just left or right. Is it... Is it just cardinal directions, or can I do it diagonal? Doesn't look like diagonals work. So I've got to keep that in mind. Oh, another one. You must have already noticed these shuriken switches. They generate power when a source is connected to them. I hope you make it. I hope I make it too. Oh yeah, also another thing to point out, uh, I did quiet- uh, I did turn the audio down on my end. Uh, today because I noticed in the past couple of episodes. It's been a little loud So hopefully it's not really noticeable for anyone But uh, it is a little bit better for me I've been studying these ancient glyphs for a while now not like I had anything else to do I've worked out that one is this one is probably the symbol for everything. Oh That X right there Um, What's through there? Seems like that was a hidden door or something. I don't... Oh, it's a switch. Uh, what was the point of that? Hmm. I don't actually know. Did I just block myself off from everything? <clears throat> hmm. Well, let's leave the room, so... How do I... Oh. Okay. Apparently, I just murdered myself by doing that. Whoops. That's no good. Oh, cool. And it just puts us right back here. Well, that's good, at least. I didn't think that was going to murder me. 
I mean, it makes sense that it did, don't get me wrong, but... Alright, now we gotta do this whole thing again. Well, this is a neat little mechanic. So, what's the last ninja weapon we're gonna get? I mean, obviously we get Rocket Launcher, but... I don't super consider that a ninja weapon. Alright, so, which ones do we need to hit here? So, that just raises those. That pulls that back. So then we hit this. Yeah, that looks about right to me. Oh wait, so... Yeah, now that one. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. So you... Um, we have to disable you. So it needs to be you... Uh, you... Yeah. And then I jump up here, and then hit you, and that pulls that away. Cool. Need a little puzzle there. Goodbye, Robo. Alright, what else do we have? Goodbye. Oh, okay, so that just stuns. Good to know. So it doesn't actually damage enemies, but it does stun them. It mentioned that, but I was wondering if the, uh, <coughs> if the upgrade that I got would have, uh, changed that. Alright, evidently I need to get over here quickly. Wow. Apparently I need to get over there very quickly. Can I hit it with a... hit it again? There we go. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it would actually travel off the screen or not like that. Excuse me? This was just built in, huh? Alright, so I gotta time this pretty well. Uh, that didn't work. And we died. Man. <clears throat> these, uh... These, like, little walls here? They're not very kind, are they? If I die again, then we'll skip ahead. But I'm still getting used to this. I don't really think we need to skip yet. I do like how the shuriken feels, though. Alright, can I resolve this puzzle without looking like an idiot? Let's find out. It turns out... I can! I have basic abilities. I don't. And goodbye. So, I did actually need, um... Yeah. So I have to hit it the first time, run down here, and then... While I'm still up in the air, basically throw another one at it. Oh, that just got rid of the old one. Damn it. Alright, well, once we're... Wait, did I? Oh, I jumped from, like, here and hit it, didn't I? No? How did I do this last time? Am I forgetting something? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just timed it perfectly without really thinking about it the first time. Hmm. Where is that coming from? Huh. Oh, okay. Never mind, I see. Yeah, I forget. So these walls look like the walls I can actually kunai into. But they- no. Oh. He didn't pull himself up. What the hell? I thought he was going to pull himself up with the kunai, but he didn't. He just kind of sat there and I was hanging and I forgot how to cancel it. Oh well, I'll see you back over there in a second. Alright, here we are, back over here. Can we please not screw it up this time? I think the problem last time was I hit the ceiling when I didn't intend to. Oh jeez, drop. Okay, why, why is it doing that? There we go. That's what I was trying to do. But if you if you connect to the ceiling, you just kind of sit there. And that's what got me killed. Both of those times. I hear another router. Oh, it's, it's because I'm close to that one in the first room. Okay, well, what's up here? Anything? Okay, this, this is a long winding path that goes down, so I don't really trust that one. Is this my save point? Kind of hoping it would be. Okay, so 
These would uh, be useful with the charge attack that I can get. Because I can stun them and then pop the charge attack on them, and that would do a lot of damage. So that's something to keep in mind. Yay, here's our save point. Also just walked right past that gentleman right over there. Gentle robot. That shuriken shooter up there. Normally they fire continuously all on their own. But this one doesn't. I think there must be some kind of mechanism to make it shoot. Could you help us find a way to activate it? Well, this looks like progress now, so I think I'm going to go back to that area I was at before. And see what it has to offer me. Because maybe it's secrets. Maybe it's loot. Maybe it's a cool new hat. Maybe it's a heart piece. Uh, it looks like we can't actually go down here, so... This was a waste of time, and I made myself look like a fool. That happens pretty often, though. Hey, you. I'm not gonna deal with you right now, actually. Don't have the time, nor the desire. Eh. Let's try here first, didn't it say? I thought it said I could get rid of these. I could go through these doors now by hitting it with an electric charge. Maybe it's just that one in the resistance camp that they're talking about. What? I didn't even actually get smashed into the wall, it just hit me. <laughs> it kills, like, on impact. It's not, it's not, oh, you got crushed in a wall like it is in Mario or something, like when you get crushed by a boulder or something. It's just, no, it made contact with you, therefore you die. You just activated my trap card. That was a joke, haha. The trap was real, however, you're stuck down here now. I'm seriously starting to lose my sanity. There's only one way out of this Forsaken Shrine. Find the exit and defeat the Guardian. I'm having enough trouble with the first part, however. You're all out of cards, Kaiba. Goodbye. If you want to make Yu-Gi-Oh jokes, I'll make them with you, but I don't remember a lot of them. Although one of the Yu-Gi-Oh jokes I do know works really well for this game, and that's Joey Wheeler yelling, Kunai and Chain. That's what I thought of when I saw the name of this game, just Kunai. I was like, Kunai with Chain. Get out of here, big guy. How are you like my Electro Shurikens? Uh, there's spikes here. You gotta be careful with those. Hello, what do we have up here? Ooh. I don't like that one bit. So I've gotta kinda... I gotta kinda stay ahead of the curve there? What's down here? A crate, for one. And more spikes. Also, looks like things are... frozen down here. I don't know. That's what the pallet's telling me. Uh, ow. Can I hit you with these? Seems kind of hard. Maybe I shouldn't bother. Yeah, what you gonna do if I just bounce on your head, huh? Stupid thing. Looks like somewhere a secret would be, but... Evidently not. Ow. Oh, cool. Conveniently placed robot to siphon the life from. Thank you. What do we have up here? Okay, that's just another blocked... Yeah, that's that blocked area I saw on the other side of that wall, actually. Okay, that is safe ground. Even though there is spikes under it. Ow. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, can't get through there. What do we have over here, huh? I really wish these boxes had health in them sometimes. I also wish I could, like, make the screen... Oh, I can. Oh, that's what his dumb little face is. It lets you look down. That means he's uh, clicking down. I'm sorry, I called you face dumb. Oh. I didn't even think about trying to hit them with three. I wonder if hitting them with three in a row, like, stuns them for longer or something, possibly. Hey, you. Ow. You still hit me? Why'd you go that direction? That was a weird direction. I wasn't even over there, still. Evidently, I don't really have the timing of their attacks down yet. Alright, I'm not dealing with you. You're kind of a pain. I'll heal up on your much, much less dangerous friends over here. What's up here? It connects to somewhere that we've seen over here. 
Looks like it might connect back to the start. Wow, this is a really long branching area. No, you don't. Ooh, I trapped you in the middle of the wall in my blade, sir. That was bad news for you. Sorry you had to go that way. I am a samurai, though. I have to win by any means necessary. I'm not above dirty tactics. Okay, so... Ooh. I don't like this one bit. Well, I made it. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. Ooh, secret. Well, I thought that kind of looked like one. What do we got? Ooh, it's a heart piece. Yes. Gimme, gimme. That's two. I'm guessing it's four to actually uh, get an increase on our life bar. I'm glad I found two of them. I hope those are the only ones that I've missed so far. Unless I didn't have the ability to get it. Like, if I didn't have the ability required, I can't really blame myself for missing it, but... I hope, like all Metroidvanias, at some point later in the game, too, I get, like, a item that helps me find secrets. Because that would make me feel much better. Because I, uh... I'm pretty good at missing stuff. I like to think I'm really, really great at, um... Finding secrets in games. I was pretty good with Bloodstain, to be fair. Feels like something shifted. Pretty sure I know what that is. I was pretty good in uh, Bloodstained, I like to think, with finding uh, optional stuff, considering I I think I finished the game with like 98% completion or something crazy like that. It was definitely a pretty good run. I did have to look a couple of things up though, because some of the stuff was just weird. Like, an item that was required to progress was just hidden in this like obscure little area with no hint towards it at all. And you needed that to do, like, basically all of the post-game stuff. So that was weird, but... Ooh, did I not want to do that, actually? I can't get down there now, right? Hmm. I imagine what happened is it switched, like, all these impassable doors that I've been seeing. Some of them have been switched around now. I assume. I'm just gonna run past you. Don't really need to deal with you right now. I'm finding out things. Okay, so hitting him with multiple shurikens doesn't really do anything. I thought maybe it would do some damage or they would be stunned for longer, but he didn't seem like he was stunned any longer than normal, so... Oh, this room again. I don't like that I had to come back here. Oh yeah, so last time I dropped there. This time I don't have to do that. I can just go right here. Yeah, this is where I commented on there was a nice handy robot to heal me, Al. Um, yeah, so we can go down this path now. Damn, spikes. Oh, jeez. Please don't. Uh, I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. I thought my character was gonna jump into the spikes there. Because it doesn't really feel like I can stop my character from jumping into the spikes if I grapple too close to the ceiling. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Uh, I didn't think you would actually jump up there. Just let me finish you off, man. There we go. Whew. I needed your HP. Or your battery, in this case. I'm not dealing with you. That's for damn sure. Going through here. Hey, save point. Are we about to get near a boss, I wonder? It would be really, really nice if we got a boss. If we got to fight a boss, I guess. Not got a boss. Like obtained one. I don't I don't want to do that. Though it would be nice to have a boss as a pet. I can think of some games like that, like Hades, for example, if you could have uh, Cerberus as your little follower, that would be great. I should probably get back to Hades at some point. They uh, have a new update that came out. Alright, so... Oh, jeez. That's not actually something I can stick to. Uh, that was not the correct way to do that, but... 
Somehow I made it work. Whatever. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I don't like it. Moving platforms. Okay. Whew. It was not as spooky as it looked. <laughs> at, a, at a glance. At a glance, I was terrified of that. But, uh, nah. It wasn't that bad. It didn't get any more difficult as time went on. Which is nice. I could go back and save, but... I think I'm good. Famous last words right there. And who knows, something in that room could kill me. I might as well just... Continue. Oh, jeez. And here I am, about to die. Please don't. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like the uh, trajectory I had on that one. Save? Or at least a really easy enemy to kill? We're about to connect to something. About to unlock a shortcut, basically. Except I can't get behind that damn door. Hmm. What was the point in coming over here, then? Is there another area I haven't followed up on? I mean, there's... There's that door over here to the right. Wasn't that closed, though? Hmm. Maybe I have to re-hit that switch now? I'm not sure. Because we need to hit something that will turn all these doors. And then we'll have to come back over here. It seems. There's no secrets hiding here? No. Well, I'm probably going to die on this return trip, I'm going to be honest. No way I make it through here safely. Okay, that's just a box. We're good there. Cool. I couldn't get up there, could I? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, let's go up here, then. Is there anything to do here? Uh, I actually don't remember this room. It said we'd been in here. Oh, it said we'd been in here because I had technically been in here when I got that treasure chest. Okay, interesting. And we can't get up there because these doors are blocking. Okay. Stand right. Damn it. I was trying to stand in the safe spot so I wouldn't get hit by that rising pillar, but... Then I accidentally walked onto the spike like a fool. Does it at least save my uh, map progress? Yes, it does. Thank you for that. Now we just have to get back over there again. Still just going to ignore the enemies for the most part. I can get money just from uh, chests. That's good, right? Alright, just, just brute force across that. I still don't know what to deal with that particular ugh, puzzle is. But this one's easy. I like this one. Give me more of this. It's pretty uh, different from what I was saying before, where I was like terrified of that particular puzzle. I've already got the shit knocked out of me and I'm not even there. I'm not even to where I need to... Eh. Okay, is there actually... Yeah, okay, there's the... Ooh. I'm so glad that didn't kill me. I jumped right into... And that was the moment Quasi died that day. Realizing what he said was stupid, and he looked like a fool in front of everyone. Alright, I'll see you back over there. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Back over here. Don't screw it up this time. I can't believe I just walked right into the pillar. The last time. Alright, all we need to do is hit this switch. Phew. There we go. Where was that? I don't actually know where that was. Like, it showed me the picture, like I knew where it, Okay, yeah, I forgot. They leave a question mark on the map. How nice of them. There we go. Okay, we still can't go this way, unfortunately, so... I'm gonna have to make my way across that thing again. 
which kind of sucks because I don't know how to get how to get across that thing without dying. So what am I gonna do? I mean, I can at least heal off of this robot if it's back. Ow! Never mind. I landed on the spikes that are sticking out for some reason. All right. Well. Yeah, how am I supposed to... Am I supposed to platform across these? To get back? Like, is this intended? I guess so. Now, this one is the problematic one for me. I don't I don't actually know how to get across this without... ...taking damage. Is there anything I can do? Shooting up there does nothing. There's no way for me to move faster, I don't think. The only thing I can think is to time it just right. Oh, okay. Whew. I can't believe I did that. I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. Look at me. I did the thing. Please don't kill me. Please, please, please. Oh. That bee had my number. All right. Time to follow up on some other things. So if we go up, come on at me. I'll fight you now, I have a save point. I'll do a bad job of it, but I will fight you. There you go, get your butt stuck in the ground. Your stinger. Uh, I don't know about fighting two of you, though. That sounds kind of annoying. Later. I'll fight you, because you use a blade like a normal person. I don't have to deal with you flying up into the air to avoid me and everything. Alright. It seems like we're making some progress in here. Are we going to be able to fight a boss this episode, maybe? Not sure I could beat the boss in an episode, but we may actually be able to fight one depending on how much longer it takes me to get through this place. Okay. That just opens up back to there. Oh. Okay, so that was two. And that one. Okay, and once I throw a shuriken into that, that'll get rid of... Okay, and that, that whole area over there probably leads to the boss. Good to know. Damn it. How did I mess that up? Thanks for the money. Appreciate that, at least. I got spikes in my face, but hey, at least I got paid for it. Okay, so... Let's see. The easiest way to get over there is probably going this way. I think. Ow. I always manage to just throw my face right into those spikes. <clears throat> no matter how much I try not to. I'm just a glutton for punishment, I guess my kink. Whoa, so now I have to do this going back. This is slightly harder. I made it, though. So we just have to get to that other save room. No, you don't. Okay, maybe, maybe you do. You hit quite hard, actually. Please don't do that. There we go. Don't like that enemy. Because he hit me twice. That's more than any of his friends ever did. What makes him so special? Okay, I'm back here with you. Oh yeah, we can't actually leave this way. That's right. <clears throat> I do have to go that other way. So, I need to go back down there to that diverging path and go south. Instead of the way that I went. Hi. Wow, I'm just stunlocking you for days. I'm sorry. That was awful to watch and participate in. Like, I feel bad. Okay, so... I tried going that way. That way didn't work. But this way should work. Correct? Ow. You guys blend into the environment pretty well. I gotta hand it to you. Okay, that was... That was rough. I forgot how that one... <laughs> how the, uh... The puzzle in that one actually went. So I ended up getting really messed up. Well, you haven't looked. I've gotten two out of eight chests in this area. 
Not doing too well in that department, huh? Maybe the area is much bigger than I think? Here's hoping. So yeah, this allows me to get back up here to this handy dandy save point. Whew. Progress is being made. And now I just have to go over here and drop down this ominous looking pit on the map. There we go. There we go. The bounce back on me hitting him with my sword actually put me outside of his sword's range. Talk about busted. Okay, so back up we go. And if we go down here now... Oh wait, yeah, we actually we have to do that still. Oh well, at least I was able to hit up this save point. So... Now we just have to go down a bunch. Even with the map, some of these areas are pretty confusing. Mostly just because they usually just tell you where something is. Like, yeah, I mean, no, this this is my fault. I knew I had to come over here to the big question mark. But uh, I still do get confused by the map sometimes, even with having a map. I'm just like, wait, where? how does this connect? Can I get through here? Because they don't actually say if the path is blocked. So... That can make it a bit difficult sometimes. Uh, get up there. There we go. You can do it, Tabby. There we go. That's what we've been trying to do this whole damn time. We finally accomplished it. Interested to get out in the world and uh, give these shurikens a shot. Oh, I've forgotten this entire time that I have a double jump. We did get that last episode, didn't we? That's how I was supposed to solve some of this damn puzzle. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute fool. I forgot all about the double jump. I wasn't used to having it, because uh, I got it basically right at the end of the last episode. And uh, I've just gotten used to not having a double jump in this particular game. So yeah, that's how we were supposed to get across some of those obstacles. That was my bad. Curse you, brain, for getting that I got an upgrade last time. I even talked about how it was the best upgrade, and I forget about it like that. I'm a fraud. I call myself a Metroidvania fan. The funnier part is, um, I super, super love Metroidvanias, but I haven't actually played too terribly much of Castlevania or Metroid. I mostly just love the genre itself. Because, like, I've played Castlevania, I'm not really sure which ones I've played. I know I have played them, though. And I've played the original Metroid, and I think I've played Super Metroid, uh, like, Super Metroid. Which I think is just Metroid 2. And of course I've played, like, Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime Hunters, and all those, but... Those aren't like this, so I don't consider those. Alright, so we've hit a save point. It looks like we've cleared out most of the areas here. So this looks like a good spot to go ahead and end this one off, as the recording says we're at 35 minutes, but that's with me having to cut a lot of stuff out when I died. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Kunai, and I will see you next time.